Hi, my name is JW and this is my path to OSCP. It's now 15 hours till my exam and I don't have everything done as I would have thought I would have. Like I was imagining myself having big stash of exploits uh, all compiled and ready to run and all that sort of stuff but I don't know it doesn't it didn't seem practical to me to be comp like pre-compiling everything like the compilation process itself doesn't take long uh, so what I have done instead is uh, I have tried to find those exploits um, from exploit DB, basically uh, the non metasploit versions and like Python or C or whatever, uh, and document where I got them uh, so that when I do use them and potentially change the payloads, uh, I can easily do uh, some sort of diff between the original and so forth. I'm using currently OneNote uh, to prep myself. I have a new notebook there uh, for the exam. I have tabs for different uh, different uh, operating systems. I might have just tabs for the different machines pasting every single potential screenshot I can come up with. I have made already uh, some tables here uh, for relevant information like my IP, what is the subnet and so forth and I have a simple uh, currently 15 step procedure how I will begin tomorrow morning because I'm guessing I will be a little bit giddy and uh, potentially be like let's attack everything or I will get paralyzed like how do I make attack so that's why, uh, thinking ahead, now I've made a simple step. First, uh, paste your IP into every script that you currently have. Like, for example, anything that is using IPs, Nmap, whatever, uh, I've pasted, I will paste my uh, lab connection IP to those places, so I don't ever need to specify the L host anywhere. Um, then I have um, made the decision that the next step will be to basically run MS Venom, uh, MSF Venom in a loop, uh, generating specific uh, payloads like Metropreter, Reverse TCP for Windows, uh, for port X, for port Z, and so forth with my L host uh, in a loop. Uh, Gutmilk has a nice um, uh, Metasploit patch tool. Uh, I'll look whether I will use that or just a simple bash script to basically yield more control over, yield more control to me. Uh, after I have put that script in motion, because it will take some time to basically uh, run through, I think I want at least for Windows, I want reverse shell, reverse meterpreter. Uh, some specific other payloads like to be pasted in C or Python code and all of these also with uh, at least two or three different ports uh, so that if there's any sort of filtering on the target machine uh, I will have different uh, payloads to counter that. So that will take time and in the meanwhile while it's running in the background I will start doing the next steps on the list uh, like recon and like I have specific uh, nmap scripts written already like nmap something something switches already written uh, with bash var uh, variables uh, for example dollar range uh, which I will then put in my bash profile uh, once I figure out what the lab range is I will put that in the bash profile I will put my own IP into my bash profile so I don't need to type my IP I can just say dollar IP 
uh, and that will always be my IP or $L host probably would be better. Um, so I have a specific set of Nmap scripts and other recon tools that I will use and I have specific notes here. Document all found machines in exam doc. Document all services found in exam doc. So I will follow this to the T and I will have my all of my uh, screenshots and all of my tables, all of my enumeration will be full. I will have everything and at, at the end of the exam it's more down to filtering what I want in the report instead of being oh no I'm missing this information. So I won't be missing information, I will have more than enough information. That's something I'm going to make sure of. Uh, I'm also considering uh, basically making a small cron tab uh, in my OSX that will take a full screen screenshot every let's say five seconds. Of course that can be in, cannot be in cron tab because that's by definition once a minute is that well I will just make a while loop basically take screenshot sleep for five seconds or ten seconds or something like that um, and then continue. I mean there's only 81,000 seconds in a day so if I do it every 10 seconds that's only 8,000 screenshots. I mean obviously that will make uh, a nice time lapse for me. I won't be able to share it with anyone but it will be nice documento and memento for my, myself. Also uh, it has the added benefit if I do forget to take any screenshot shouldn't happen. I should be really, really careful with this. But it has the added benefit that I will basically have a screen capture of my full session, the 24 hours. Well, not the full 24 hours because I'm not going to have my computer on probably for the 24 hours. So I have all of these things mapped out. Uh, I'm not sure whether telling my um, exam plan is something that is allowed or frowned upon or whatever. So I'm just going to be precautious and I'm not going to tell you it. I'm not going to post it fully, uh, especially not the direct uh, Nmap um, lines and so forth. I mean this isn't rocket science but again this is uh, something that I have come up with that will hopefully help me tackle this exam. Uh, I have put uh, for, for each, uh, of course, the first step is recon, figuring out what is out there, and the next step is enumeration. Uh, and I have put the priorities of enumeration in order uh, in my documentation. So once I start with a new, um, new server or or a network-wide scan, I will uh, basically focus on these specific uh, things in order uh, as I see them now fit. Uh, because I don't trust the future self. I don't trust myself in that exam. I'm counting on or I'm expecting the worst that I will have immediate 100% tunnel vision. I will only see the SSH server up and running on every machine and I will try to brute force it. That's basically the dummy I'm writing these documents for. So don't do that. Follow these instructions step by step, take a break and so forth. And that brings to mind this um, schedule I made for you, I uh, or made for me, sorry. Uh, I can share that with you probably, or I will. Uh, basically, I'm starting at noon and I'm putting a break after the first hour uh, for 15 minutes because by the first hour I should have basically all of the recon done. I mean by then I should have a clear view of who the targets are, potentially even what the operating systems are. I don't know if there's pivoting involved so I don't know if every target is visible directly. I don't know. Uh, that will that'll fi I'll find out tomorrow. But by the first hour, I should have 
all recon done. All end maps and other recon scripts should be done. I should have pages and pages of uh, ports open, uh, version strings, and so forth. So at that time, it, I felt that it would be a good time to just take a break, maybe look over the recon while walking outside, taking some fresh air. And then I'll have lunch, another break, dinner, a few breaks during the evening, and then I have sleep, question mark, uh, for 2 a.m. until 6 a.m. I don't know, four hours should be enough. I mean, I'm going to be mentally exhausted by by then, because if I start at noon, my, my local time, noon, and go to bed at 2 a.m., that's a 14-hour straight, uh, basically, pull out every single ounce of skill and knowledge and thought I can into this exam. So I'm going to be pretty exhausted by then, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to just zombie out and uh, fall, on, fall on the floor, basically. Hopefully I'll land on the bed, though. Uh, but four hours-ish should be good. Uh, breakfast, a few breaks before finishing, just before noon. Um, so basically I calculated that, I mean, it's a 24-hour exam. Uh, so 24 hours seems like both a very long time and also a very short time, like depending on how you're looking at it. It's a long time to be doing stuff, like concentrating straight, heavily, uh, very focused. For 24 hours is not, not a good idea. Uh, but also it seems like a very short time, uh, given that you need to penetrate five machines of unknown configuration. Mm, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be basically... Uh, on the level of the hardest machines in the lab network, uh, but I don't know, could be. Um, but I calculated that my breaks that I have scheduled, because all of my breaks will be for 15 minutes, uh, except for lunch, dinner, and breakfast, uh, which are uh, going to be for 30 minutes, uh, my breaks in total will be three hours out of this hack, basically. Three hours of this 24 hours will be spent off the computer. And then there's another four hours for sleeping. Uh, so that's a seven hour non on the keyboard time, like away from the keyboard time for seven hours. Uh, that's a little less than one third of the time. That still leaves me with 17 hours uh, of hacking. So 17 hours and I guess there's five machines. I, I haven't found any concrete proof that there's just five machines or instead of four or six or whatever. I think I found some information in some, some uh, OSCP reviews, but I don't know this for a fact. The exam guide definitely doesn't say anything about uh, quantity of computers. It just says a small number of computers. So let's assume 50 of uh, five computers. Uh, that's still basically three hours per computer. That's quite rapid. So I'm hoping there's at least one like hey, they, this server has Windows XP, no service patches, and all ports open. Yay, instant win. Uh, I'm not hopeful for that. I'm, I, I'm realistically, realistically not expecting to see that. Hoping to see it, yeah, sure. Hoping to see five of those. Well, not really. I want, an, I want a challenge. Uh, but I want a challenge that I can actually conquer. Let's see. I currently have uh, the basically the pen test monkeys cheat sheets for reverse shells. I have a 
PDF uh, copy of the Red Team Field Manual. Uh, I have TCP dump and Wireshark uh, cheat sheets from Packet Filters. Uh, and I have some exploits downloaded ready to go for both Linux and Windows. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is very, very... not to overuse the word or overload the word, but like bipolar. Uh, I'm going between... I got this. I mean, I have the skills to basically do a penetration test. This is just five more machines how hard could it be? Well, not explicitly <laughs> thinking that it, it couldn't be hard. And then on the other hand, I'm like, I don't know anything. I didn't get this and this and this machine in the labs. I only got X percent of the labs. I know this guy got 20 more, 20 more machines in the same time in the labs. This guy got 100% of the labs in 30 days. And like this guy was mentioning some exploit I have never heard of. And... It's going between places. Uh, I'm trying to adopt a sort of a fatalistic attitude that there's no point in me right now stressing out anymore. I know that the baseline stress levels are elevated, but there's no point in actually psyching myself out. It's not going to affect like, if I psych myself out, it's only going to affect negatively. Uh, there's no point in worrying. Either I will pass or I will not pass. That's it. If I don't pass, then I will spend more time in the labs. And then I will pass. If I pass, I'm happy. So, whatever comes, there's a positive outline to that path. I'm still focused on winning. I will post uh, probably on... I mean, I will be recording throughout the day uh, during my breaks or whatever, coming back from breaks. I will be recording and talking to this microphone and uh, video camera, but you guys won't be, or, or myself, won't be seeing the results of that video until probably Sunday uh, after my 24-hour exam and 24 hours of documenting and or sleeping after the exam. So, let's see what happens. Either I'm going to be very, very happy in the next video or slightly bummed. Who knows?